Our show is all about the good things and the good people right here in Utah. Sherry Van Bibber is here in this month's spotlight alongside Christopher Thresher of The Advocates in the sponsored interview. Christopher, I want to start with you. Why do we recognize people in our community like Sherry? Yeah, well, you know, an, an advocate, you know, is someone, you know, I think one of the attributes of an advocate is someone that does something without any um, thought about getting any recognition or any accolades for their service. And I think one of those one of those groups of people that you know have this attribute is people that donate blood. Um, and Sherry's here to kind of help you know kind of represent all of those people <laughs> out there that donate, but also recognize that the, there's a serious need that we have in the state of Utah, you know in the surrounding area for people to be able to donate to be able to save lives. Sherry's from the American Red Cross, and I think I can speak for everybody here when I say we love Sherry. <laughs> she does incredible work here in our state, but you say donations right now, Sherry, are declining, and they have been since December? Yeah, we're in critical need, and um, it just, especially with the storms right now that have been impacting us from Wyoming to Logan, Ogden, all around, that's impacting us um, because those, all the, uh, those weather ice that we had scheduled, those should be, uh, c those um, donations can actually be in a hospital four days later. So we're having to close those blood drives down because we can't get there. And um, so that's impacting us. The flu is impacting us. Holidays did during December, but it's it's we're in critical need, and we really need. And three percent of our state donates, so we're trying to kind of Wait, change oh, that. Three percent? Yeah, yeah. I know. I didn't know the number was that low. We're such a, a service-oriented state, but a needle is a little bit different, you know, when it comes to canning or you know, helping in other different directions. But it's a bucket list item, I think, too. If you've never done it, you should definitely put it on your on your list to try. It's very healthy. A lot of men have to donate to lower their iron. You know, Sherry and I were talking before the segment, and she shared a few stories with me, you know, just to kind of highlight this need that there is in Utah. And I hope I'm not putting her on the spot, but no, maybe she can no. share one or two of those, just kind of recognize no. the need that we have here. We have, I mean, I have four little kids in my in my world right now under eight years old that need donations, that are getting transfusions with cancer and leukemia. And so, I mean, the need is we were working with Primary Children's Hospital. They're building, they're completing their hospital in Lehigh. That's going to increase that much more. And the need is just growing all around us. And especially when you hear these stories, we've had stories coming in. I mean, all the time, and, and I'm sure most of our donors, when I talk to them, they all have a story behind them. I said, when I had um, my third child, I um, had to get two transfusions, and um, my, I, my son and I did a thing that I wouldn't be here to raise my family if it hadn't been for that. And you don't know who those donors are. You wish you did, um, and you hope you never have to receive it, but it's such good karma and such a great thing to to be able to do and it's i mean all of red cross and we our donors are the most amazing people that i know and we do want to increase the three percent but then so are our volunteers too because we're 95 percent run by volunteers and and people who can't donate but want to come and help our humanitarian side also, you know, with all the things that are going on with the fires and the tornadoes and the earthquakes, we're there. So there's just we it's certainly just a great can do better. Every second there is two seconds there is a need between the weather and the flu. Our donors need help and your cancer patients. Yeah. This is a reminder that people need it chronically, and we're in critical need right now. We are, and there's a lot of accidents happening happening um, too, which is increasing. Why are you other so side passionate? Why do you do what you do it's every been 13 day? 13 years just for me and I just the stories just the stories and the people that I meet and the partners that I get to work with are amazing and it happens every day. So just you know when and then when you do service in general I think for people just and it feels good. It does. It's more I feel selfish sometimes because I feel like it just lifts me up more than anything. Christopher, I can see why you chose her to be our community advocate of the month. Yeah, well, we have a blood drive <laughs> that our proud. firm is sponsoring yes. here <laughs> on Monday <laughs> from one to five, right? <laughs> one to seven. One to seven, even yeah. better. Um, one to seven at the American Red Cross building. facility building there on 9th East. Yeah, 6616 yeah. South 9th East. And so we encourage anybody out there that they can come there on Yes. Monday and can I donate. ask you quickly, how do you know if you're eligible to get blood if you 
Should you just show up or should you call first? There is an eligibility number. You can call 1-800-RED CROSS or 866-236-3276. Okay, so we can put that only, on our website. Only number in my memory. But I know you rattled that, that off like nothing, <laughs> Sherry. But that one, yeah, I'm used it all the time. But yeah, that's an eligibility. And if you have been knocked out before because of the Mad Cow, Call she just first. looked at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've not been able to donate, and I think I can now, right? Yes, yes, but call right. and make sure you get your name um, cleared so that you can be eligible to donate. ABC4.com slash GTU. Everybody, if you need an advocate, please visit utahadvocates.com. We'll put all that information about that blood drive on our website and nominate somebody that you think is a great community advocate on that site. Click on the Community Advocate tab. And thanks to the advocates for this sponsored interview today. Good to see you. Thank both. you. And congratulations, Sherry. Thank you guys so much for having us.